Welcome to homework for lesson two, module six. This is third grade. And please get, don't forget your name. Adi surveys third graders to find out their favorite fruits. The results are in the table below. And you can see here the favorite fruit. There's your title, favorite fruits of third graders. That tells you what it's about. And here's the fruits, and there's the number of student votes. And we have some questions to answer here. Draw units of two to complete the tape diagrams to show the total votes for each fruit. The first one's been done for you. So units of two, you can see this is what we're talking about. That's a unit of two right there. And so there's eight banana votes, so that's two four six eight and that's all you need apple has 16 so we're going to try and keep our squares about the same size as those two four six eight ten twelve Fourteen, sixteen. That's one way to draw a series of, of twos in a tape diagram. Uh, another way to do it, and we're going to have a chance here to do it with strawberries because there's 12. An easier way to do it is just to draw the long skinny piece of tape first. And if you see that that's 12, you know you're going to need six twos. So, and it's going to be, ooh, it's going to be a shorter piece of tape than this, right? Because it can only be six, so it can't be the same as uh, the, the one above, which has eight. So it's going to have to end about here, probably. So I'm going to erase the end of it. Because remember, the idea of tape diagrams is that long, look, bigger numbers have longer tapes. So we want to kind of get that to see how my fourth unit of two kind of made it about the same as that unit. We come, that unit of two, that fourth two here. So we want to try to get that as much as we can. And it's never going to be perfect, but we should try to get it to work out. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And that's all the strawberries, just twelve strawberries. There's only four peaches, so we only need two twos. Explain how you can create vertical tape diagrams to show this data. Well, vertical tape diagrams have the same number of units. They just go up and down like columns instead of side to side like rows. So how do we say that with um, vertical tape but our vertical instead of horizontal there's lots of different ways you can say this vertical instead of in rows. Now make vertical tape diagrams below using the data from problem one. So bananas had four twos, right? And apples had eight of them. So this is a case where if you do this, this is going to be twice as, as tall, so it's going to end up going up into the letters up here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, right? And strawberries at twelve, there were six twos there, so it's going to go up to there because that's where the sixth two is. And then I even have guidelines. I can look at the other pieces of the other units for the other tape diagrams. 
and just continue those lines two 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 Right, and the peach had just one, or it only had two, peach had two twos, so it's going to be this tall. Let me clean that up a little bit. Because you notice how my bottom keeps getting lower and lower, and that's why my first two keeps getting bigger and bigger. So let's see if I can fix that. There. Good. And then uh Oh, now we have units of 4. So there's 8 bananas, right? And apples there were 16 of them, right? So that's 16 is four fours, so we need two more fours here. Uh, strawberries were 12, and that's three fours. And I'm doing the same thing again, I just can't seem to help it. And peaches, there's just one four for those. What is a good title for the vertical tape diagrams? Well, just imagine it's a graph, because it kind of is a column graph. Uh, favorite fruits of third graders. I'll take the title right from the chart. Does the number of units used in the tape diagrams and problems compare the number of units used in 3A and 3B? So that's, this is, you know, this is 3A, this is 3A, this is 3B, right? Because this is question three. So they're talking about all of this stuff right up here. So just look at the change in the units. Uh, why does the number of units change? Well, because the units got larger, right? Right. There's twice as many. Um, the unit, you could say the units have to change because, oh no, the number of units changed. Because the units changed. If you can fit it in here, you could add that the total didn't. Write a multiplication number sentence to show the total number of votes for strawberry in the vertical, vertical tape diagram in 3A. So 3A is the one with all the twos, and we're looking at strawberries. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six twos. So multiplication num multiplication number sentence. Six twos is six times two equals twelve. And that's not a word problem. It just told us to write a multiplication number sentence, and that's it. We did. So we don't need an answer statement for that one. And write a multiplication number sentence to show the total number of votes for strawberry in the vertical tape diagram in problem three B. So remember when I mentioned before about, maybe I haven't, I can't remember in this video, 
that for this module, you really have to read the questions carefully or you, you're going to be lost. So this is 3B, which means you've got to look at the 4s. Uh, so it was we looked at the 2s for strawberry. Now we're looking at the 4s for strawberry. There's three 4s. So it's going to be 3 times 4 equals 12. What changes in your multiplication number sentence in problems 3e, that's this one here, and 3f, the one to 2 that we just finished, and why? Well, the factors changed. The product is the same, right? So it's the factors that changed. Because the units changed. But the product didn't uh, change, but the um, but the votes didn't. Change. Oops. There.